Now we have seen uh, instance variables and instance methods. Now let's see class variables. Uh, the first thing we said is that each class has a class side and instance side. But the truth is that what you see here on the instance side is actually the class. The class uh, is the object that creates an instance object. What you see in the class side, it's called a meta class. Now, if we want to create a class variable, we go to the instance side and we add, as I have added here, a, a variable under the section as an argument to the class variable keyword, class variable names. And you can add other values as well, separate them by uh, with space. Now, class variables uh, work pretty much the same as instance variables. The only difference is because they are class variables, they don't require you, they, they don't require from you to create an instance in order to use them. You can access them directly from the class. So in this case, we can create uh, accessors for uh, this variable as well, a getter and a setter, as we have done uh, with uh, the doc class for its instance variables. Uh, instead, however, of naming, uh, going to the class side and creating the methods manually, I will going to use uh, the excellent refactoring tools of Faro. So I'm going to uh, uh, right-click on the class itself, go to refactoring, go to class variables refactoring, and click on accessors. This is going to create a getter and a setter for my variables. I select the uh, the class variable, which is the name of name of breed, and then I see here that says that I'm going to create you uh, at the class side, at the meta class side, uh, uh, two methods. One is called name breed, one is called name breed name of breed uh, uh, column, which is of course the, the 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 getter and the setter. Accept, and you go now to the uh, class side. We have uh, the methods already. So. What we're going to do here uh, is we're going to say that instead of returning the name of the breed as a variable, let's say that we have a standard value. In this case, let's say that the name of breed is going always to return Cocker Spaniel and accept that with Control ls uh, Instead of right-clicking and do it from now on, you will see me using shortcuts. So in this case, instead of right clicking and hitting accept, I'm going to use the command key because on my Mac OS, if you are Windows and Linux, you're going to use the Alt key uh, and S. Uh, all the letters you see here are uh, taking the command key, which is always, uh, I think it's in Windows it should be always Alt and in Linux also Alt, but on Mac OS is command. And of course, the letter you see in the corresponding choice, in this case, it's S, so it's command S, and now it has accept that. And if I go here and uh, type, let's array this, uh, type Cocker uh, Spaniel uh, name of read, of read, here it is, and click uh, press print, then of right clicking and print, uh, all I'm going to do is uh, use command P because that is exactly uh, the letter for this command. So it's command print. And of course, it returns copy span. So as you can see here, I haven't created an instance. There's no reason to create an instance. The method is associated with the class itself. Uh, and it returns me a string. But of course, I can use you know the, the variable to store different kind of name if I want to name it copy spaniel or something else, but because the in this case, it's a standard name, and I, want, I don't want to create anything else. Cookie span. And if I want to be make sure that name print is not used, I can remove it. I can right-click on it and click Remove. And now, uh, my name of breed uh, is only uh, read-only. You cannot change it, and it's a standard name. Uh, if you go to the class side, in the meta class, you will see also that it has instance variables name. And that's maybe confusing because we know that we have instance variables names in this side as well. The only difference here is that because 
meta class itself is an object. As an object, it comes with its own instance variables. Uh, but this kind of instance variables are used mainly uh, for doing something that we call metaprogram. It's, it's actually class manipulation. It's a way to manipulate your classes. And you don't really have to know uh, anything uh, complicated about it right now because metaclass uh, programming is uh, an advanced uh, subject and we're going to see it a much, much later when we already have fully explored Faro and how we can use the fundamentals of Faro to create our applications. So that's all for now. See you on the next tutorial.